Right guys, well now I'm going to show you how to work out how many magnets are in your hub motor. After scouring the internet for several hours, over, se over several days, looking for a way, an easy way to do this, I couldn't, figure, I couldn't find any easy answers. People were talking about putting multimeters onto your phase wires, putting multimeters onto your hall sensor wires, none of which made any sense to me because how on earth are you going to count the pulses from a multimeter. It just it didn't make any sense. But it suddenly dawned on me that there's actually a, a much simpler way of doing it than that. It doesn't require any expensive equipment, doesn't need any fancy meters or anything like that. All it needs is a piece of wire. Here's all you need to do. First thing you need to do is to disconnect the battery from your controller. The reason you're doing that is because you do not want, under any circumstances, you do not want this uh, controller to burst into life and start spinning or trying to spin. I know it's not very likely, but for safety's sake, disconnect the battery. The next thing you need to do is to locate and bear your phase wires. Now the phase wires are the main, the three heavy duty wires that go down to the motor and they are the wires that take the power from the controller directly to the motor. They're the, the main power wires for your three-phase motor. Uh, all e-bikes three, have three-phase motors. So you, once you've got your phase wires located and bared, it doesn't matter whether they're connected to the controller or not. What you need to do is to short out two of the phase wires that go to the motor. And in my case, I'm just going to use a bit of a little bit of uh, copper wire. That's it. Once you've got those wires shorted out, then just move you over a little. And all you need to do is start to move your motor. Spin, sorry, sorry, spin the wheel. As you can see, as I'm spinning that, it's going boom, 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 boom. And that's it cogging against the, the magnets. So if you can feel the cogging of each magnet, you can count the cogging of each magnet. So all you have to do is get your wheel so that the air valve is at the bottom and start to count the cogs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, that's exactly half a revolution. I've got 23 cogs in my in my motor, or cogging actions, or whatever you want to call it, it cogged 23 times. If I was to continue doing a full rotation, it would be cogging 46 times. And that's how you count the number of magnets in your motor. Simples.